Okay. Okay. So, um, all right. So, um, this world, even though the essence for me of, of humanity is spiritual, uh, this world is not, you know, it would be a heavenly domain where everyone's at a high vibration and in spirit to a strong degree. Uh, so for me, uh, I agree with, uh, um, you know, basically Hawkins, Jesus and Buddha. I mean, this is, this, this realm is a tough realm. I mean, the ego's usually quite dominant and there's lots of, uh, you know, it's continuous uh, spiritual choice and challenge in this world. It's, it's a place for spiritual growth. It's purgatory. So continuously, those things within my ego are being brought up from within and from without. And there is a testing to get distracted in my own ego stuff or all the things in the world. And, and that's usually for most people. Uh, and it's a world for spiritual growth. And um, so, yes, you know, one's inner thoughts can be distracting, inner emotions can be distracting, people can be distracting, financial situations, uh, relatives can be distracting. So it's just continuous distraction. So to be in the ego and get hooked into the drama of the various levels of consciousness that exp express uh, in this world. So I think the, the best thing with that, um, you know, how, how do you remain in spirit and not get distra distracted by all of that. And I, you know, one of my things, I think, you know, the easiest way to not get pulled out into the forest, I think is just to, uh, there's a line, one of my favorite lines by St. Francis, what you're looking for is where you're looking from, you know, which means that deep within, you know, like the observer, or there's a deeper st stillness or silence within. Now, once you connect to that inner peace, that in, inner stillness, that witnesser that is before all the passing phenomena and transitory thoughts, beliefs, visual stimuli, external things that go on, in a deep inner place, it's an orientation. So if you just want to stay in spirit and be orchestrated from the spirit, the orientation is really what St. Francis said. Always be in your consciousness inwards, trying to soak deeper into that inner peace, love, stillness, grace, power, presence of God. As soon as one loses that as an orientation, as an intentionality throughout the whole day, then usually one then very, very quickly goes into the addictive ego thoughts. And the ego thoughts is just, you know, just trying to get stimuli and drama from every source because the source of the ego is it doesn't want uh, it's dissolution, it's demise, so that one can be in that infinite presence all the time. So that inner orientation of like, forget my thoughts, forget the world, uh, you know, there's a deeper, can I be in this deeper peace, stillness, presence, uh, that is before my thinking, before the world, and can I just, and then eventually learn to grow, to allow that flow, that inner peace, stillness, creativity to orchestrate and run my day. So the the, the job of, for me, uh, you know, particularly intentionality for a spiritual seeker is just being in that, orientating oneself inwards into that silent, observing, still space and letting that flow and letting life unfold out of that. So it's more of an inner orientation and letting life come out of that inner spiritual place as opposed to being in the sort of the active head trying to, to do things and understand things and be orchestrated from more of the ego levels. Um, I think, you know, to, be do that, to do that and to reach enlightened, you'd have to have very strong intention and ferocity and mindfulness on a continuous basis to not get caught up in one's thing, in the th distractions of the thinking mind, the distractions of the world, and to be always letting go continuously non-stop until all aspects of the ego are transcended and one can remain in those uh, flow states. Okay, so I'm going to 